In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply a gradient map adjustment to your picture. It gives you a lot of flexibility of uh, creating uh, some interesting effects to this. So if you go to your adjustments panel, the very bottom row on the right hand side is a gradient map adjustment. Just simply click on that and you'll see that you'll receive this um, separate layer that's an adjustment for gradient maps. Under your properties dialog box, you'll have a, a few options to kind of play around with. If you click first on the drop down menu here, you can pick on a whole range of different types of presets. And some of these presets are really interesting um, and it's, it really kind of changes from an image by image case basis. Um, in addition to that, you can also load additional presets by clicking on the little um, settings icon here and add additional types of presets. Just simply click on append and they add them to um, the list here. And as you can see, you can even have some really interesting and subtle types of changes as well. In addition to something like this, you can actually create your own gradient map. By simply clicking on the gradient um, icon here in the center, you're going to be uh, moved into the gradient editor. And in the gradient editor, you have this whole transition zone from black to white. You just simply choose an area that you want to create a stop. So for instance, we'll click here. And at this stage, you have a, a stop that's located right here. You can then choose the color section right here and then choose a particular color. So for this one, um, let's choose somewhere around a blue, perhaps. Kind of change a little bit of the subtle blue. Click OK with this. And then from this blue, you can then shift this over to kind of drag for a larger tint. This dot in between the white and the new stop is a midway point, so you can kind of drag where that location will be. Um, from here, let's maybe add a little bit of a, a, let's shift this over a little bit further here. Add a second stop maybe here, and then maybe add some, like a sepia tone towards it. So we have a little bit of a blue sky here, a little bit of a sepia to the um, pyramids and some of the sand there as well. That looks kind of nice. Uh, maybe change this, this blue a little bit more to maybe a, a deeper blue that kind of brings out the clouds a little bit more. And then we can start to add further stops to here. So maybe add another stop here, maybe a deeper color of maybe a deeper blue here that's probably a little bit dark. Click OK. And you can continue to add additional stops. If there's a stop that you're not particular fond of, say for instance this one here, you just simply click and drag away and it removes that particular stop. Another interesting effect that you can work with this is save this gradient. So you can actually use this particular gradient map for additional images. So I just simply, after I'm happy with the finishing effects of this, I just simply rename this and I'll name uh, this uh, Egypt and click on new. And in the very bottom section here, you'll see that there is a new gradient called Egypt. After I click OK, I can then choose a separate image go to the gradient map, and in the presets, there is a gradient called Egypt. So, you, in fact, you can create a whole range of series of pictures based on a particular type of gradient. So you actually end up having um, a range of images that look quite similar. In addition to that, you can even manipulate the gradient even further to um, work on an image-by-image -image case basis. So this is a really interesting effect by applying a gradient map adjustment to your picture.